สวัสดีค่ะ It's a brand new season of Try Thai tonight. We have many new delicious Thai recipe to share with you. Plus, we're going to try something new here on the show. For each recipe, Jean and I are actually going to go head to head in a Thai food cook-off. She's going to lead. I'm going to try to follow to see if I can cook Thai food just as well as she can. Yes, you can learn from me because I know what I'm doing, but you can learn also from my husband because he doesn't know what he's doing. Thanks, Jean. Okay, then we'll invite a member of our crew for a taste test. Whoever cooks the tastiest dish will be glorified forever with this chain of chilies. You like this? Yes. And the loser will be banished to the back of the kitchen, right, Jean? Right. I hope you have your gloves. My gloves? Yes, for washing the dish. Oh, it is on. So stay tuned because it's Dean versus Jean right here on Try Thai Tonight. Yes. Hello and welcome to Try Thai tonight. We are Dean and Jean, your husband and wife tour guides through the exotic flavors of Thai cuisine. And so here we are with another new season of Try Thai tonight. How do you feel, Jean? Feel good. I'm excited, and we're gonna cooking another new kitchen. That's right. For this season, we're excited to have Keys Mat Homes involved in our show. And this kitchen is in one of Keys Mat's quality built custom homes. What do you think of this kitchen? I like it. I, I like it. It's a big, open, open kitchen, and I like the color white. And I don't know. I love it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm getting the hint. I'm picking up on that. Well, Keys Mat Homes is a premier custom home builder in southern Ontario, and they offer custom work that reflects each customer's unique style. And as you can see in this kitchen, there's a real attention to detail and quality craftsmanship. And our kitchen is furnished with wonderful appliances from Delhi Radio and Appliances in Delhi, Ontario. So thank you to them as well. Now, Jean, today you're going to show us how to make cashew chicken, right? Right. Now, how do you say that in Thai? Gai pat met ma muang him pan. All of that is cashew chicken? Yes. <laughs> okay. I hope it's uh, quicker to make than it is to say. All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let me try here. Kai pad med muan him a pan? Ma pan. Ma pan. Okay, well, a lot of you at home might know this dish. It's very popular in Thai restaurants here in North America, but um, I don't really remember seeing it or eating it when we go to Thailand. Is it an authentic Thai dish? Yes, it's a Thai food. Chinese Thai food. Okay, all right. It's Chinese influenced. Why don't we eat it when we go to Thailand? Because we eat a lot Isan food. That's where I come from. Right, right. Jean is from the northeast, Isan. So when we go to Thailand for a visit, we tend to eat food from that region because that's her home food, her comfort food. Now I'd never heard of cashew chicken until we moved back to North America, where you can find it at most Thai and Chinese restaurants. And it really surprised me how popular this dish is here, right? But I guess it does make sense that you have cashew chicken in Thailand because you do grow cashews there, don't you? Right. They grow uh, cashew in the uh, south in Phuket. They a lot of work. Right. Yeah, they work by hand, and then they're expensive. Well, I learned something interesting about cashews that I I didn't know before we did the show. It's that they grow on trees on the bottom of what's called a cashew nut apple. It's like a piece of fruit. And Thai people also make other products from the fruit part too, right? Right. Like juice. Mm. Or you eat like a Apple, just eat like the fruit. A fresh apple, okay. yeah, like a fruit. And this is what I thought was very interesting: is that when you're harvesting this, you have to make a decision about what part of it are you going to use—the nut or the apple. Because once you harvest the nut, well, the fruit's no good. But if you harvest the apple, well, the nut won't be ready yet. So quite a choice there, and maybe that is why it's ex an expensive nut as well. So this is a dish that a lot of people think originated as an authentic Thai dish. But it probably started in China, and as Chinese people immigrated to Thailand long ago, 
they brought a variation of cashew chicken with them. What is the difference between Chinese cashew chicken and Thai cashew chicken? And then in Chinese, they are deep fried chicken before they stir fry. Right. And in Thailand, we stir fry the chicken, everything we stir fry together. Okay, might be a little healthier then if it's not deep fried, right? Right. Okay, right. Well, because this dish, cashew chicken, is so popular in Thai restaurants here in North America, we wanted to show you how to cook the Thai version. But before we do that, let's take a moment to try to piece together the history of this popular dish. Cashew chicken most likely originated in China, specifically the Sichuan area, where other similar dishes like Kung Pao chicken can be found. As Chinese people emigrated to other parts of the world, like Thailand and the USA, they took their recipes with them. In fact, a deep-fried version of the dish was apparently first served in Springfield, USA in 1963 when a chef from China was struggling to gain acceptance for the cuisine of his homeland. As he searched for a dish that would appeal to local residents' taste buds, he was surprised to find that deep-fried cashew chicken was such a hit, it became the unofficial dish of Springfield. Now, how cashew chicken shifted to become so popular in North American Thai restaurants is unclear. Perhaps uninformed customers in the early days couldn't tell the difference between Thai and Chinese restaurants, and so they just ordered their favorite Asian dish. And even though cashew chicken is not quite representative of Thai food, its slightly sweet and salty flavor is perfect for beginners who are not used to spicy Thai dishes. Consider it a great entry dish to Thai cuisine. When we come back after the break, we're gonna go over all the ingredients that we use in Jean's Thai cashew chicken, and then we're gonna start our Thai food cook-off. We're gonna find out if I can cook Thai food just as well as Jean can, because I want the chain of chilies, right? I want that too. All right, well, it's gonna be a battle. In the meantime, we're gonna take a short break, which will give you time to pop over to our website to download Jean's recipe for Thai cashew chicken and we'll be right back. Keysmat Homes is a premier custom home builder with homes for sale across Haldeman, Norfolk. Taking pride in the quality of their work, Keysmat Homes strives to make their clients' dreams a reality as they build communities. Keysmat Homes, a proud supporter of Eastlink Community TV. Well, I guess it's time to get started with our cashew chicken. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, how many people does this recipe serve? Four to six people. All right, perfect. Let's go through the ingredients, right? What have we got here? We got the uh, corn oil. For cooking, cooking oil, yes. corn you've got here, all right. And then we have a Thai light soy sauce. Yep, there's the light one, and I'm gonna guess this is the dark or dark. thick. Yes. You can definitely see the difference there. Right, yes. and then the uh, Thai oyster sauce. A Thai oyster sauce, looks kind of like the thick soy sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a different flavor, of course. Right. So, the white sugar. White sugar, and uh, you're not using palm sugar, which we've cooked with before? Uh, no, not this time. This time? Okay, yeah. so it's easy. If you can't find palm sugar, just use your regular white sugar. Ah, this must be the fish sauce. Right, that's fish sauce. Thai fish sauce. Thai fish sauce, gotta have this. This is what gives the saltiness to the dish. Yeah. Of course, our vegetables, we've got some green onion. And a white onion. Yeah. That's cute. There's a, uh, we have a pepper. Right. We use a pepper, uh, green, red, orange. Oh, cool. you gotta have this. What is this? A cat. Oh, yeah. So this is a cashew. Gotta have cashews in your cashew chicken. Yes. And then we have a garlic and Dried pepper? Dried, dried chili, chili. Chili right. pepper here and the garlic. Dried Wait, chili, this right. this this chili isn't from our chili chain, is it? No. My chili chain, of which I'm going to win today when I am proven the best Thai chef, right? I don't know. Okay, all right, I'm just kidding. Here we go. And of course... And chicken breast. Gotta have our chicken breast. Okay. Obviously, we've got a little bit of prep work to do with these ingredients. What are we gonna do first? So the first, we're gonna cut the vegetable first. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna follow her along as best I can because I know she's very particular how you like things done, right? You like things cut in a certain way. So the challenge for me is to follow her. So I'm gonna cut the uh, red pepper first. I don't have a red pepper. 
Can I? Can I? I'm kidding. Can I use pepper. the orange? Okay, no, cut the pepper, pepper first. Well, whatever, All right. Whatever you, you can cut any size you like. You can cut this way, or you can cut the bottom. For me, I really like to do it this way. Okay, you cut a you hole cut in the top. Hole the top, because it's very easy for you, right, like this, and pull the seeds out. Oh, right, right, right. When I used to work in a Chinese restaurant, we used to do it this way. I used to like to go like that down the middle, and then I could pop this out. Yeah, you don't have to touch the seed. I know, it's a little messier. All right. There are your two ways. So I just cut this, and then cut like this. Are you doing thick, chunk, chunky pieces then? Uh, not too big, not too small. They just, uh... How am I supposed to... Not too big, not too small. <laughs> just what you like, yeah. right? There yes. you go. Did your mom make cashew chicken when you grew up at all or no? That was... No, no, no. She had no idea about that. No way, eh? no <laughs> she idea. Cook, she cooked like a papaya salad, yeah. soup, like that, that, yeah. that she like... Okay, moving on to the yeah. onion. The onion? What'd you do? Got a trick for this? I remember in, in uh, Hong Kong, I yeah. caught the uh, onion. Oh my goodness. Remember I had the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I got I it. I got it right cook. here. I got your... This is what you use when you're cutting. <laughs> we'll go to the picture too, but this is what we do to protect yourself from the onion. And it worked. Can we roll that photo of Jean in Hong Kong, right? It right. kind of hurts my eyes. Because I, a lot of onion, I had to cut it by myself in a tiny kitchen. Tiny, tiny kitchen. Tiny yeah, one. and then uh, all around the onion around me. And then I have to wear the uh, gug on. That's a little I know, I came home and I was like, what are you doing? What are you making? He's like, I'm cooking. <laughs> I can uh, cut them uh, not too big. Like, uh, not too small. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is this side. Okay. Right. Does that look about right? Yeah. Yep. I have no perspective with these glasses on. I can't see how far it is. <laughs> I better take them off or I'm going to cut myself. Okay. All right. Yes, be careful. Okay. There's a green onion. And then uh, you just cut like a two knuckle. Okay, so quite big. Yep. Yeah. Next, we're going to do um, garlic. Garlic. Okay. Okay. I know what to do with this. All right. Pow! Right? Pow. Right. Boom. Okay. So we have the uh, dry chili. So this Wait, dry chili... This chili is wet. We have to soak it with the water because they're too dry. <laughs> <laughs> this dried chili is too dry. <laughs> so we soak it in water. Okay? So yes. it makes sense to me. And then they're spicy too. So okay. we're going to cut like a ring, right? Like a like a ring? Yeah, and like a ring oh, like this. Oh, okay. Right? Oh my goodness. So like, how impressed would you have been if I had said, honey, will you make <laughs> you want the chili? Maybe then I would have you, right? Like, uh, you would love it. You'd be like, yeah, that's the best That's thing. A too late. It's too late. Okay, vegetables all chopped. Now it's time to do the chicken? Yeah. Okay. And of course, we've got, what here, a separate uh, cutting the, board? we uh, a new cutting board for uh, the uh, cutting chicken. Right, because you can never be too safe when you're dealing with raw meat, especially chicken. And we don't yeah. want to ruin our awesome cutting board by solid edge wood products, right? Okay, all right, all right. That's I got a glove it. for you. Gloves, all right, I love this. Always fun <laughs> to put on gloves. I, I would like to win. You Really? I wonder what the odds yeah. are of who's going to win. I wonder who's favored here. No, I want That's... that I want that necklace that over there. Well, that's, yeah. You gotta earn that necklace over there. You gotta earn that necklace, Jean. Okay, gloves are on. Get on. There we go. High five. Yes. Okay, I'm win. So uh, slices. Slices. Slice the chicken. Yeah. Slice the chicken. On a bit of an angle. Yeah. And, uh, am I doing this right? These too thick, too thin. Coach me here. That's good. All oh, right. Awesome. Chicken done. Yeah. It looks like we're ready to start our Thai food cook off. I know I am ready to rumble, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, before we start our stir fry, we gotta get that jasmine rice steaming. Right. You wanna do that? Yes. Okay. I'm starting that. And I'll toss to break. While Jean starts the rice, why don't you head over to our website at trythaitonight.com to download Jean's recipe for cashew chicken. And we'll see you right after this break.
Marquise Mad Homes is a premier custom home builder with homes for sale across Haldeman, Norfolk. Taking pride in the quality of their work, Keese Mad Homes strives to make their clients' dreams a reality as they build communities. Keese Mad Homes, a proud supporter of East Link Community TV. Welcome back to Try Thai tonight. Gene and I are in the middle of our Thai food cook-off featuring cashew chicken. The idea here is that you can learn from both of us, the expert and the rookie. Okay, are we ready to go here? We've got all our ingredients prepped. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have oil, the oil is hot right now. Yep. So you can touch the temperature. Quite a bit of oil check. in there. And then um, we just add the garlic. Garlic's in first. Here we go. Oh, I love this smell. This is gonna smell good. So, we put the garlic, you see, uh, to the uh, brown color. Okay. Right. You wanna be careful not to burn it, right? You're no, just browning it? You don't wanna burn it. Okay. okay. It's brown already. Brown All already. All right. And, and in goes chicken. the chicken. Yep, oh. got it. Ooh. All right. Oh. You're gonna take a time a little bit with the chicken. You want the chicken to cook. You don't want to eat the raw chicken, right? No, you don't want to no. get sick. You don't want to, don't want to take that chance. Okay, we're going to wait. Do you have any song? Uh, no, do you have no. any chicken songs? <laughs> you always have some kind of song on the show. What have you got? Um, uh, chicken What is it? Song. Da, 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 I don't know, chicken dance. I don't know. <laughs> it's a chicken dance. That's what we have in North America. And we do it for lucky. It's all for lucky. Okay, so how am I doing? Am I doing all right there? You're doing good. So far, I think I'm following you to a T. I think my dish is maybe going to taste exactly like yours. And I know I want to win. I yeah, want I know. that necklace. Uh, <laughs> All right. I think it's good for okay. now. Come All on. right. Here we go. What's and happening? Then... Chicken is out. I'm going to add the um, soy sauce. The light soy this, sauce. Yeah, That's the, the light, light soy sauce. Not the dark one yet. Yeah. Here we go. And throwing it in. Great. And are uh, you going to take the uh, a dark soy sauce? That was the dark one. Oh, I go. love that. I love the color. You know, this and the oyster sauce is what makes the dish quite dark. Mm -hmm. The sauce there. Okay. And next, going to be oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. I like the color. Yeah, it's almost like a caramel color. Mm -hmm. See, the, sometimes the... Um, the food, when you see the color, it look good, right? Yeah. It make a nice color. It look delicious. I, I love, sometimes I go to the restaurant, I like to see, oh, the look, it look good, but it has to be a good taste. But they have to, I know. I've had a, a lot of dishes or some places where I just, it looks fantastic, it looks picture perfect, but it just has no flavor. You know, it's just plain. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna add a uh, fish sauce. Fish sauce, fish sauce. Yeah. Here comes the fish sauce. Again, that's giving it the saltiness, right? Yeah, um, not over. And then the sugar. Sugar. I'm going to put all of them. All of it. That's yep. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Straight up in there. Mm -hmm. Smells all right. Mm. Smell what? like a Thai. Yeah. It smells like a Thai, like a Thai person, or does yeah. it smell Thai? <laughs> thai. It smells, it smells like a Thailand. Okay, smell like okay. Just be clear on that here. <laughs> and then I'm going to add the. Um, Pepper, chili. The chili pepper, the rings. Yeah, the ring one. Chili. This kind of hot. Whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Quite oh, hot. We're having a move. Number of our crew come in for the final taste test here. I hope he likes heat. And then uh, next, I'm uh, gonna uh, go to uh, white onion. Onion. Mm -hmm. Let's add more the in. Mm. Should we taste? Sure. Yeah. We're gonna taste it. One thing I learned from G when I started while enjoying her food and watching her cook and helping her a little bit in the kitchen is that she doesn't really follow like instructions or in, you know like uh, measurements or whatnot. It's all about tasting, tasting, right? Right. And yeah. we want to encourage you guys at home when you cook, you know, taste it. Let me see here. Okay. Mm, I think that's good. I love it. Yours is perfect? Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm staying the course because mine tastes Awesome. Oh. Mine tastes awesome. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, I'm actually surprised myself here. Okay, in goes the peppers. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're still stir frying this. I'd be tempted to put like a lid over top of it and then steam it, but you don't do that? No, because I don't want the uh, a pepper. This is too overcooked. Well, it's, that crunch. You're right, we yeah. need that. We still need that, like a 50% cook. Okay, so go medium rare on your vegetables, <laughs> but well done on your chicken, right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, Doing well? I think look good. Looking good? Okay. Okay, good. I'm gonna get a green on it. And, and I'm gonna get a cashew. Cashews right in. Last ingredient so, right here. Here you go. Not I salted, right? Not Important. Salted. Not salted. Just yeah. plain roasted cashews. Right. Okay. okay. Now, I don't really, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really like nuts in my food. I really don't. So I'm just gonna put half of the cashews in. Okay. Okay? Because I don't mind they're there, I like the crunch, but I I'm not a big nuts in my food kind of guy. So I'll respect the recipe a little bit, but then to customize this and maybe get an edge here, I'm going to back off the cashews. And you taste again. Mm. Mm. What are you tasting? Uh, the sauce or the... Uh... The, the sauce? Oh, I'm going to mm. get... Can I get a piece of chicken? Of course. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. The crew's like, yes, it's almost done. It's almost <laughs> ready. That's it? That's for it. The, uh, cashew chicken. All right, our cashew chicken is plated. We're going to invite in Craig from the crew here to be the ultimate taste tester. <laughs> All right, have you had much Thai food? Uh, I'm not an expert. I love Thai food, but uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to judge. Because the last time I had Thai food was from a gas station. What? Is there a certain way? You want to show them, Jean? In Thailand, they eat with a fork in and a spoon. In Thailand, so yeah, we eat a fork and spoon. Very good. Very good. Very good. Dish number two, yeah. Okay, so now you've got so, to decide. They're very similar. At first I was gonna go with jeans, but then I remember that you signed my check. That's right. So, obviously. I'm having second thoughts, but I think I'm gonna go with jeans. Oh! Go, go. Yes. What oh, happened? Right. What happened in the oh, end there? I've totally got the necklace. <laughs> that means you got to clean up after. So. Thanks, Craig. What was it in the end that changed well, your For mind? me, the, what's, what sealed it was this has twice the amount of cashews in it. So I'm just going to put half of the cashews in. we got to stay true to the Fair the enough. Recipe, so. Fair enough. Well, thank Sorry, you buddy. very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Craig. Okay, <laughs> all right. I got the... The chili. chili. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the power in the chili. This is only the first episode of this season, so I am ready to battle back. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us on Try Thai tonight. If you'd like to learn more about Thai cooking and to download Jean's recipe for Thai cashew chicken, you can visit us online at trythaitonight.com or find us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Kabunka. Kabunka.